viewers, this is the Damiano's Defense and how to counter it. Damiano's Defense is a very beginner's uh, defense, in my opinion. So it starts off with normal moves, E4, E5, you know? And pretty good opening, you, can, you have a lot of options, you can move your queen out, you can move your knight out, you can move your bishop out, you know, a lot of things. So, then you naturally move your knight out, you know, attack that pawn, putting pressure on that pawn. So, the best move in the, uh, is to defend with right here, but, uh, or, or to do a gambit, or even Petrov's defense. But, the Damiano's defense is moved in here. Okay, so, you know, you think that you're defending. That's actually an inaccuracy. Because, um, you know, the, there, there's a move that you could do, which is actually a brilliant. So, most people would think to move the knight here, or to move the queen pawn up, but the brilliant move is a gambit. Take the pawn, because once they take back, you punish them with that queen check. You know, most people would move the king up, but that's not actually the best move. The best move is to go here. Even though it may seem funny, even if it may seem funny doing this, because you might you're gonna lose a rook, it's actually better than the alternative here, because once they do that, you check him, and they move here. You, that's the only move they can do. Already, they're already all my pieces are getting pretty close. The bishop comes out. Now, a lot of players, including me, did this mistake, and this mistake could cost you the game. King right here. Best move is to go move the pawn. But the reason why king right here is so bad because it's forced mate in eleven. Yes, I know mate in eleven. But just watch, because once you move the queen closer, they're forced to move into a corner. You start by marching the h pawn up. Then they move the queen here, you know, trying to take the pawn, maybe defending this area a little more. You know, you got it. You're in a dangerous position right now, even though you're up by one. So then, so then naturally you check again. You got even a nice check. So he has to defend right here. You take it. And you're probably thinking, why would I have to move my king away? No, I'm going to lose my queen. But let's say if you take with queen, then that's mate. So you have to move your king away. Once you do that, you take the queen. They take back. And you go ahead and give him a check. Then the, he moves away by over here. And you move the g-pawn up, getting closer and closer to their area with less and less pieces to defend. Then they can't really do much. I guess they either to check or move this pawn up. Either it doesn't matter. They're both made in four. You defend. They move back. Then you get this pawn check. It's made in two. They can't do anything now. Because they have to take with it. They have nowhere else to move, as you can see. Nowhere else to move. So they have to take it with a bishop. You take back with a pawn, you know, another check. Their only move, this, and the final blow, queen f5 checkmate. Well, that's how to conquer the Damiano's defense. Thank you.